All right, how's it going, guys? So today we are working on a 2017 Ford Fusion. Uh, the customer says that it's leaking pulling out of the water pump, which the shop told them. And they said that they needed a water pump replacement and a thermostat replacement. So the water pump is right here. This is run off of this pulley here. So what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to first off, break these bolts loose on the front of the pulley. And then we are going to uh, put a nut on this tensioner here to release the tension from this belt. And this uh, is gonna allow us to slip off the belt from the water pump pulley. Um, so we're gonna do that. The thermostat's right here inside of this little housing here. There's three bolts on it. So what we're gonna do, we are going to first start breaking loose the stuff for the water pump, uh, take the pulley off, take the tensioner, uh, take the belt off from the tension. Um, and then we're gonna unbolt the water pump, which it should only be three bolts um, on these. And we're gonna let the coolant drain from that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the thermostat after that. Okay, so let's go. So these are 10 millimeter bolts here. So first thing to do, break those loose. If you can't uh, break them loose without the pulley spinning, you're supposed to insert a screwdriver through one of these slots that you see here. There's some slots on the front of the pulley. Um, that should keep it from spinning. So yeah, get to it. So this is the setup how I'm holding the pulley. And you can see it goes through there just kind of wedges itself and keep it from spinning. And we can break them loose. Just like that. Okay, so once the bolts for the water pump pulley are loose, you want to then go to the tensioner, which is right here. It's a 14 millimeter to loosen the tension. You just put it over this little nut here and as you see it moves and it releases the tension from the pulley so you're going to release that tension and you're going to slip the belt off and then you should be able to loosen or fully um take off the bolts for the water pump pulley and then take the pulley off so here we go let's do it Just like that okay now with that off you should be able to just reach down here and uh loosen the bolts for or completely remove the bolts for the water pump pulley so that's what we're doing now okay so now we're getting ready to remove the water pump uh right here and here's our new one and if you see it's oriented, you know, like this on the car. You can see both of them. And there are three bolts you have to remove here. You have to move this one, that one, and then that one under there. So that's what we're gonna do now. And I would say before you do this, uh, you're gonna have a lot of coolant spilling out here. So what I would do is, uh, you know, kind of put something under here to shield the alternator and you know everything else you want to protect that stuff so coolant doesn't doesn't just dump on everything um so i'm gonna you know tear off a piece of cardboard once i'm about to actually you know pull out the thermostat or i'm, I'm sorry pull out the water pump and um that should at least help the coolant kind of go over the belts and just onto the floor or you know i'm gonna use a drain pan actually i'm gonna put a drain pan under here so it at least lands on a drain pan, uh, AKA the floor for some people, but that's okay. So right now I have the water pump separated. Uh, the sill is right there. That black thing that you see around the edge of it. Um, basically to let it drain out, just, you know, uh, pull, pull the water pump back a little bit. You know, maybe you might need a flathead screwdriver and just, you know, pry under 
the edges where the fasteners go not too far in here you don't want to mess up the seal uh or the cast on the engine where it seals but uh yeah i'm just gonna let it drain out here and then once that's good to go i'll go ahead and put the new one on okay so there's a new water pump before you put the new one on you want to come along the new one this is the one i'm just going to show you but you want to put some grease or maybe some some oil or just a very thin film of it around the o-ring here and that's going to help you seat it back in to where it goes here and you don't want to you don't want to put it in halfway and start you know fastening in the bolt or anything you don't want it to to mount uh sideways or crooked or anything you want you want it to mount flush before you start tightening it so yep that's going to help you do that and i'm about to put the fasteners back in and then i will get going on the thermostat All right. okay the water pump is done and back on the car so let's let's move over to the thermostat housing and thermostat so the new part Actually, it got, already comes with, uh, if I can find it, the new part comes with it. The thermostat already housed in it. So, what we're going to do is first we're going to open this. And uh, we're going to have to grease this up as well as we go to seat it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna take off those three fasteners. Actually, first we're gonna take off the clamps on these hoses, pull those back, and then we're gonna take the hoses off, and then we're gonna take the three bolts off. Remove this and put the new one on. All right, let's go. I'm gonna be using my vice grips, <clears throat> my clamps to get these off. I'm just gonna pry on those, pull them back, and I'll show you guys what that looks like after I have it done. So you just want to come down here, pry on these. So I already have this one pushed back. So I'm going to get that one over here. Maybe it might be easier to remove this connector. Uh, not sure yet. I think I can get it without it, but it should help okay so what I figured out is it's a lot easier if you take off this clamp right here to the reservoir that goes to this uh, distributing pipe and then I took my pry bar and just kind of wedged it on the end of that and pushed back and it came right off look at that all right so basically now I'll remove the fasteners, get this in a point, this bigger hose in a point where I can twist it off. And there we go. We'll, we'll keep it chugging. So with the old one off, you probably want to uh, clean the mating surface down here where the thermostat housing meets up with the block. So I just like to take something, clean off any residue that's on there. That way you have a nice, a nice seal on the new one. If there's any silicone or anything, you want to get that off as well. So, yeah, I think we're good to go. Put the new one on. And that pry bar works out well. Definitely use the pry bar uh, once you pry these clamps back. Kind of just uh, work your way and pull back the hoses. Okay, so new thermostat's back in, put the clamps back on, so those should be good to go. Put that clamp back here for the reservoir. So there is one bolt that I did not need to remove if I can find it. There it is. Okay, so this bolt here, you do not have to remove it. Um, it doesn't go into the power, the, I was about to say power steering, the, the water pump. So 
this bolt here that's beside the water pump is very easy to mistake as one of the water pump ones. It looks exactly like them. So yeah, I'm gonna put that one back in, put the pulley back on for the water pump, put the belt back on, put this clamp back on here, and we should be good to go. I'm just gonna put some cool in it and uh, heat cycle it. Let's see if it uh, leaks anything. So there we go. After the pulley's back on, you route the <clears throat> you route the drive belt. So um, here's a belt orientation picture for those who need who need it. Um, I'm gonna post that somewhere up here, around somewhere. But yeah, yeah, pretty straightforward. Um, nothing crazy. Don't really have to even get under the car, uh, like a lot of tutorials suggest. So there you go. Uh, make sure you fill that back up, which I've done and give it a shot, start it, and you may be good to go. Go driving.